Tonight on Realtree Global Hunting, we're in South Africa, hunting big game with the all-new Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Air Rifle. So far, it's taken Diker, Springbok, three Warthog, and we narrowly missed out on our Impala. Tonight, we're looking for Red Hartebeest. Africa, the dark continent, is considered by many to be the home of big game hunting and an iconic destination for adventurers from across the globe. The tough terrain, the plethora of game and the challenging hunting conditions make South Africa the perfect location for any hunter wanting to test their mettle. It is here in South Africa's Eastern Cape that the Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Gun will take on the might of big African game. The stunning Eastern Cape of South Africa is renowned for its wide variety of game animals. Here on the grassy plains at Nduna, the herds are plentiful. So far, the new Benjamin Bulldog 357 from Crosman has taken a diker, springbok, and three warthogs. Each animal has been dispatched cleanly with a single shot. Power, accuracy and penetration delivered by the nozzler built 145 grain Benjamin Extreme Ballistic Bullets has been more than enough to take care of business. The Bulldog has performed flawlessly and now we're on the hunt for something a little bigger. Today we've set ourselves a key challenge that will define the Bulldog. Back in 2012, the Bulldog's predecessor, the Benjamin Rogue, took down a magnificent red hartebeest. With one shot, it penetrated the chest and exited the opposite side. Gavin found the bullet lodged under the skin after passing through two ribs and the heart. That hunt became an important milestone for the Benjamin Rogue and legitimised its claim to the Big Boar throne. Today, we're back out for another Red Hartebeest, this time with a Benjamin Bulldog. Red Hartebeest move in herds and can be spotted from some distance. After some essential long distance reconnaissance, we found a small herd close to cover. However, we still need to get to them. Anduna is crisscrossed by small valleys and patches of thick cover, which offers a chance to move unseen between hills and plains. With the Bulldog being smaller, lighter and more manoeuvrable than the Rogue, it's much easier to tackle this type of terrain and dense cover. Frequently we hit the deck and crawl between the branches. Being significantly shorter in length than the 48 inch long Rogue, the Bulldog is much easier to crawl with. Gavin peers out of the cover and we can see the herd, but there's no clear way to stalk in from here. Further down and there's a break in the prickly pears that allow us to move out of the valley, although we need to remain close to the ground. Usually the safety of the herd relies on numerous eyes looking in every direction, but with this species of planes game that's not their main concern. Red hartebeest have relatively poor eyesight but excellent senses of smell and hearing. We need to stay low, keep the wind in our faces and remain silent. 
Spooking just one of the herd will result in the others running. After the efforts of the day, that would spell disaster. Red hartebeest have very little to worry about from predators, with lions, hyenas and cheetahs choosing other species of games to hunt. Some say that's because of how elusive and difficult to hunt the hartebeest can be. With the herd grazing peacefully, we get into a position where we can see a cow emerge from cover. As it heads back behind the bush, we regroup and consider the next steps. Then, on the other side of cover, a bull feeds into the open. It's moving and grazing, so I wait for the right shot. With an animal of this size, the shot must be absolutely perfect. The shot is good. The herd has bolted and our bull is nowhere to be seen. I'm sure the shot was good. We head into the thick cover and our bull is down. So Gavin, I think that's what you call an epic hunt. We basically spotted them from a, from a far hillside and they were lying down when we first saw them. We had to go out around probably about 400 yards, cut back in again, and then go through some of the thickest bush I think they've got here at Nduna. But it was all worth it and finally we get into a shooting position. And that bush was just in the right place. There was a cow on the left hand side, two cows on the right, and then this bull just appeared. And once again, patience, just let them do their thing. There was no stress in the animals. They didn't know we were there, which means that once I took the shot, there wasn't all of that adrenaline that can take these animals for several hundred yards. Disappeared into the bushes here and then passed peacefully. So what did it run, Gavin? Probably about 150 yards, maybe? Maybe yeah. here for that? But what a beautiful bull though, Gavin. You've got some beautiful Whoa. specimens here. He's, he's absolutely fabulous. It's an old, old bull, this. Yeah. Look at these so let's flip them over and have a quick look at the other side of the entry wind. So that has gone through, straight through and into the vitals. So once again, on, a, on an animal antelope, antelope of this, as you can see, it's perfect uh, shot placement. The Benjamin Bulldog, it's just incredible accuracy from a big bore air rifle. And it's not just one shot, time after time after time, the consistency is there, which gives you perfect confidence to take such shots such as this. Terminal performance, outstanding again. Looking forward to seeing uh, how it performed on the inside. But Gavin, once again, great hunt. Thank you, brother. So here's a red heart piece we've just taken. Uh, they've just dressed it out, skinned it, uh, so we can have a, look, have a look inside. Now, as you can remember from the uh, replay, the animal was walking um, up towards my left. Uh, so the, the shot that we took slightly on the front shoulder uh, came through uh, the front leg, uh, the meat of the front leg here, straight into the chest cavity. And you can see the entry wound just here. Uh, as you can see from the rest of the carcass, there's no other, there's no other shots. And they went straight through the heart and then um, lodged. It's actually just come straight through. The bullet must be lodged then in here somewhere in the shoulder. But the most interesting point here is as I've said about accuracy. And you can see here, there is the entry wound into the heart and there's the damage through the heart. So this animal was dead as soon as we took the shot. Uh, of course, it did manage to, to run into the bush, lay down and pass pretty quickly. But Gavin, once again, phenomenal performance from the Bulldog. Absolutely, the accuracy, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's definitely improvement and uh, each shot counts. Now you can tell that this was definitely a shot by the uh, Bulldog firstly because that is a telltale sign of the 357 entry and also if had been, this had been shot with a full bore rifle this heart would have, well, it would just have been disintegrated. Yeah. Phenomenal performance, great accuracy, great terminal performance from the Benjamin Bulldog and another fine specimen um, ready for the chiller. So Gavin, thanks once again. Phenomenal yeah. hunt, great animal. Phenomenal performance once again from the Benjamin Bulldog 357 and 145 grain Nosa built extreme bullet. The Bulldog certainly hasn't let us down on this trip and has dispatched every animal we've hunted with a single, perfectly placed shot. I'm supremely confident that this big bore air rifle is capable of bigger and better things. I can't wait to see what it can do next. 
To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Rifle, visit crossman.com. To find out more about Realtree Camo products and to join Realtree's global family of outdoors men and women, visit realtree.com. Follow the links below for more amazing videos from Realtree Global Hunting. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the very best hunting videos on YouTube.